Hi students, this is a reading to go along with week five of our distance English packet. Um, this is the afternoon level reading, which is a slightly lower reading level than the morning reading. If you are not a member of my distance English class, no problem. You can follow along with your notebook, pen, and paper, write down new vocabulary for you while we are reading together. If you are a member of my class, you should be following along, marking words that are unknown to you to look up later, um, listening to my pronunciation, listening to the fluent American English reading. This article is titled, Scientists Study the Types of Germs that Live in Different Kinds of Houses. And this is an older article. It's from February 24th, 2016, but it is still a very interesting um, research that we are talking about in this article. Written in Washington, D.C., it starts saying, Everyone's home has tiny bugs too small to see. They are known as bacteria. Bacteria are a kind of germ. Not all bacteria are bad. Some bacteria are even good for you. Even still, a new study suggests people in cities may want more fresh air. Studying bacteria. This study looked at bacteria in people's homes. A team of scientists studied bacteria in small village homes and in big city homes. They wanted to know if bigger communities had different bacteria. Maria Gloria Dominguez Bello led this team. She is a scientist and a teacher at New York University. Her team found that the bacteria in homes change depending on where people live. Bacteria live on people. Everyone has their own set of bacteria. These bacteria are on a person's skin, in their nose, and in their stomach. This set of bacteria is called a microbiome. Some bacteria are good and some are bad. Good bacteria help people digest their food and fight off colds. Bad bacteria make people sick. Bacteria can come from food and where someone lives. Dominguez Bello's team studied how homes affect bacteria. Different homes, different germs. The team studied homes in four communities in Peru and Brazil. These are two countries in South America. The team studied two villages in Peru. They also studied one city in Peru and one in Brazil. Each of these communities had different kinds of homes. The village homes held many people. The village homes either had small walls or no walls at all. The city homes were different. The city homes had full walls and smaller families. Walls hold bacteria in. The study showed that the city homes had the most human bacteria. The village homes had different bacteria. The village homes had more bacteria from dirt and water. The scientists believe the walls in city homes caused this difference. The walls acted as traps. They held on to human bacteria. The bacteria could not escape city homes. Open the windows. Village homes did not have this problem. Without full walls, air easily moved in and out of village homes. The moving air carried the human bacteria away. Dominguez Bello was surprised by this. When she returned home to New York, she made a change. She opened the windows in her office. She wanted to have more air to carry bacteria away. How was this story for you? What new vocabulary did you hear in this story? Search the new vocabulary in your translator, write sentences under this video, um, putting the new vocabulary into a sentence. Record yourself reading this story and compare your pronunciation to mine. 
listening especially to any words that are difficult for you. As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you get a notification when a new video is loaded for English practice. Until next time, students. Bye.